Welcome back to Let's Play Noitu Love 2. We have beaten Tango. We've saved the world. Now let's watch the ending. I guess the worst part of the future is gone then, if the towers and the cold is gone. And we've defeated the darn. Oh, and where Tango was, was, um, Darnicus's base. So that means having destroyed it in what at least appears to be 2288, we've averted the new darn uprising in 2388. Yeah, that we don't especially know. She was the main computer in what appeared to be Darnicus's base. And she did unknowingly save us, despite trying to kill us. So all is well, and the world is at peace. Nice work, Zoda. Noitu love du. Just about all the music in this game is really good music. And that man right there is the man who made this game possible essentially made the entire thing. Alright, Zoda. Give that cowboy a thumbs up. Give Monocle Dude a thumbs up. The world is safe. Thumbs up to you too, noble woman. Of course, a thumbs up to Mr. Gangster there. And he thanked the computer mouse in the end credits of the first game. Oh, and look at Zoda wearing the weird wig. Thumbs up to you too as well, Samurai. All is well. I believe the hat is hiding a thumbs up to her. This game is freaking awesome. Go to that website and buy it now. It's like $20. It'll be the best $20 you've spent your entire life. Buy it. And of course, a thumbs up to the player. And a thumbs up to you viewers as well. Kind of a nice little bonus at the end, they add all of the enemies. Or not necessarily the enemies, all the characters. Zoda, Relo, Almond, Tango. All the darns. That darn marksman's a jerk. Darn preachy, darn scrap. I like how some of their names are actually a play on the fact that they have Darn starting it. Darn Dimwit. I hate Kappas! I like my intestines where they are. The amoeba we never actually saw, but it was while we were fighting the dragon boss thing on the spinning wheel. If you fell into the water, you'd jump out with amoebas clinging onto you. Darn denim. Goomba. Is, 
I believe Goomba is some as a uh, kind of generic word for a small flunky. The sky crawler. We didn't actually see one of attack of his. It's really annoying. He flips the copter upside down so the blades on the top. The Grin Reaper. The Grin Reaper is awesome. It doesn't matter if he's that easy to kill or not, he's still cool. O2 Joy, Poundalito! This is where we see the uh, names of the mini bosses as well. The Sea Serpent, that was him. Darn Fab, he is Fab. He's Darn Fab! Grinsley Gumsboro, the man with the nuclear arm. And Darn Reckless was a bit reckless. Of course we have Sleeper Brakeman. Sailor Man I'm not terribly fond of. Up yours, Watkins. Up yours. The Omega Darn. The Omega Darn was just nifty. The Janitor is... Tango Source was the name of the boss they left out, though. Since that is where Tango came from. And then to the final boss. Enter Penultimate Tango, Penultimate Tango, and Ultimate Tango. Shady Hans. I know where he is, I know how to fight him, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. You can only fight him on hard mode. Now those two, that was actually, that's actually a little bit of a spoiler. So everybody look away! Now that's the uh, last boss of Doppelori's playthrough. Since you can play the game again as Reload Doppelori. And that is the end. That game is fun. I'm gonna go play it again. And everybody go out and buy the freaking game. Now. Do it. Go. You still listening to this? Go. Get it.